In this video, we're going to talk about equivalent fractions. Before we start, let's remember that a fraction is less than 1 and an equal part. For example, half is a fraction because it's two parts of one whole. The word equivalent means the same or equal. So when we're looking for equivalent fractions, we're looking for different fractions that equal the same amount. These rods are really good for helping us to look at equivalent fractions. We're going to use this brown rod as our whole. So that means that the brown rod equals 1. I'm going to show you half using some purple rods. Let's remember that half is splitting an object or a number into two equal parts. You can see here that the, I need two purple rods that are equal to show half. I'm now going to show quarters of the brown rod by splitting it into four equal parts. The red ones help me to do this. And I'm going to show you eighths by splitting the brown rod into eight equal parts. Here you can see the brown rod that represents one whole, then the two halves that are the same as one whole, the four quarters that are the same as one whole, and the eight eighths that are the same as one whole. That means that one is the same as two halves, which is the same as four quarters, which is the same as eight eighths. Eights. But as we know, when we have fractions written like this, because it's showing the whole, we just write one. Here you can see the different rods that are equivalent to one whole. Now let's take a look at fractions that are equivalent to one half. I'll keep this brown rod here to show you what one whole is like. To find a half, just like before, I'll put the two purple ones underneath because I'm splitting one whole into two pieces. Because we're just focusing on one half, I'm going to take one of them away. So here we can see one whole, but the purple one is just representing a half. So how many quarters are the same as one half, or how many quarters are equivalent of one half? If I use the red ones, which you know we know are quarters from before, I can put them underneath the half to see how many of them are equal to it. If I show you how many quarters are equal to one whole, we know that it's four quarters, and we can see that four quarters is more than one half. So I'm going to take away the extra quarters. Now we can see that there are two quarters that are the same length as half, which means that two quarters and one half are equivalent. I'm going to use the same strategy to find out how many eighths are also equivalent to one half.
I need to put the yellow eighths underneath the quarters until it takes up the same amount of space. I can see here that four eighths are equivalent to one half because they take up the same amount of space. So, one half is the same as two quarters, which is the same as four eighths. I wonder if you can think of any other equivalent fractions by looking at these patterns. As you can see here, that 1 is half of 2, 2 is half of 4, and 4 is half of 8. I can explore equivalent fractions by using these different coloured rods. I'm going to start by exploring with this dark green rod and use that as my one hole. By using the different coloured rods, I can see which equivalent fractions I can make. I need to make sure though that the rods fit under the dark green rod exactly. For example, I know I can't use the purple ones because two purple ones are larger than the one dark green one. If I use these red ones though, I can see that I can fit three underneath it. Because I can fit three red rods underneath the green rod, I know that I can split it into thirds and that three thirds is equal to the one whole. By using the yellow rods, I know I can fit six underneath exactly. That means I can split the rod into sixths. And that means I know that six sixths is the same as one whole. So what other fractions can I find using this knowledge? If I take away two of the thirds, I can find out how many sixths, sixths fit underneath it. One rod, red rod is one third, which is equal to two sixths, which means that one third and two sixths are the same. 